Hi, good day everyone. I'm Vidyavadi Parmal from Inti International University Nilai. These are my group members Sneka Ganesan, Jocelyn Tan, Kirtana Pubalan, Aista Maha. Based on our group task today, we're going to exchange our language to one of foreign student and same goes to her she will share some unique of her language to us so in my group definitely you can see Noor Aisha Marha is a foreign student that comes from Maldives and she will teach us few Dilwali words which is commonly used in Maldives from our side as we planned we're going to have some learning class to her regarding Bahasa Melayu which commonly used in Malaysian by Malaysians so any of you are struggling in Basa Melayu, please stay tuned with us until this end of this video because at least you will learn something with a good grammatic Basa Melayu or at least you will learn the slang which you don't know from different states. This, this slang mostly used in Negri Sembilan words. And also goes to Aisha. She will explain about her language, grammatic, good grammatic and words which we definitely we are out of idea in her language, uh, I mean Dilwali words. So she will teach us something like that. Who are planning to go in future to Maldives? Definitely this video will help you. Here we start with the first segment which will be Kahoot quiz regarding the Basa Melayu. Okay, now I'm going to show our Kahoot game which consists of 14 questions. Everyone in? Oh, okay, we'll start now. Uh, okay, the first question, may I come in? Okay, I found two people or mistake, one was right. Okay, I like to explain about the mistake person. Bolehkah saya masuk? It won't be a proper, good enough uh, grammatical bahasa Melayu lah. If you use bolehkah saya masuk? Because it's a very proper and manner, good manner is izinkan saya masuk. And then, saya sudah masuk. It means, I already in. Something like, saya sudah masuk. It's already, say, I, I already in. Something like that. It means, if not, you go, may I, you're not asking some permission. You're already in the outs or in the place. Something like that. Okay, the correct answer is the, izinkan saya masuk. Okay, Maha. And another yeah. one. And Sneka. Okay or not? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. 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 <coughs> okay. We'll go to the next question. Oh, so Niha is the only one that is correct. Okay, yeah, this question I found two mistake, one mistake I think so. So Jawo mana pasaraya itu? It mean how far the shop, I mean the supermarket is it? It's it mean lah. So Jawo mana pasaraya itu is uh, how far the uh, supermarket is? Uh, the correct answer will be lah. Bilaka kamu sampai ke pasaraya van, you will reach to the mall, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next question. Okay, two, two wrongs. Okay, this question I think will be help while you're taking Basa Ke Bangsa An. Okay, the second one. Bila kah kebangsaan perlu selesai untuk subjek ini? 
it's not mean something like how many because how many it's always will be berapa berapa means how many how many it's berapa okay in melai aha yeah yeah so, so if you if you if you see berapa it's mean to how many how many coins you got how many so books you got something like that bilangan means is something like the pointing something a whole group of bilangan murid something like that a uh, group of students something like that so bilangan ker perlu kerja kita kerja perlu diselesai untuk subjek ini it's not a good answer for the how many assessment do you because you're asking for how many how many itself we are going and with berapa lah and if you saw another one apa 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 in the green color right D option. Apa apa kerja perlu menyiap untuk khusus ini pun it's okay, but the in front of kata bilangan it will say something like kata bilangan it's totally wrong because when we see how many it's for sure berapa or beberapa that's it. Oh, okay, I hope okay, okay. guys understand. Yeah, understand. Yeah. Who is that? One wrong. Okay. The question is asking something like who are the organizer for the event? Same thing. Penjodo bilangan, which I tell the bilangan lah. So when you see who, it's something like siapa. If you translate who in Google, it will go to siapa. Siapa means who. Who means siapa. That's it. So if you see the siapa, I just gave her one answer. That is the yellow one. Siapa penganjuran acara ini. So who is the organizer for the event? The answer, the blue color answer, I don't know who is that. But the answer is called something like apa tujuan acara ini. Uh, why this, why the, the organize this event? Why the organizer for, organize for this event? Something like that. So it's totally out of this question topic lah. Yeah. Okay, so something goes to the A lah. A, mana penganjuran aja. Mana means where. Mana means where. Okay. Yeah. Same goes to D also. Bilaka. Bilaka means uh, when. So here you need to use who, not when lah. So the D also wrong. Uh, A also wrong. So it goes to yellow. Okay, next question. I think this will get everyone right. One more answer. Okay, too wrong. Bilakah anda menamatkan khusus ini? It's something like, the answer, the blue answer is something like, Bilakah anda menamat khusus is? Something like... Hmm. Hello? Can you hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, the something, Bilakah anda menamat khusus ini ialah something like, When you will finish this course, something like, When you finish this studying, something like that. Menamat means finish. When you finish something. Bila means, I told you earlier, right? So, menamat means finish. So, the correct answer is, apakah kursus yang anda belajar? So, what are the course you study? Must come. Okay, next question. Next. Question six. All correct because it's a translate from English, just the spelling is different. Good morning, Selamat Pagi. So, Selamat Petang means uh, good evening and good afternoon means Selamat Petang and then good morning is Selamat Pagi lah. Okay. 
Formula is sekola. Actually, you just need to memorize how to pronounce it, and then you'll know how how to spell it. It's like sekola, so it's S E K O L A H. We will okay. call it suku kata in Bahasa Melayu. Yeah. So we'll go to the next question. Okay, this is easy. It's also nearly the same with English. Nama. Nama is name for Malay. Next. College. Yes, this one is also straight translated from English. So you just need to remember college. So for su supermarket, it's pasar raya, and it's two words because it's pasar then raya. It's not like stick together pasar raya. Mm -hmm. Next, okay. <laughs> University is just the I and Y. It's just a spelling problem. Library. This is a bit hard because it's quite long. It's perpustakaan, not perpustakan. So you need to have two A, like perpustakaan is two pronunciation. So you need to have two A's. Okay, last question, lecturer. So lecturer for Malay is Bansyara. Okay, let's see our results. Okay, Maha got 6 out of 14. Good, Maha. 6 out of 14. Hi, guys. Maha, how's the quiz? It was good. I learned some new good. words. Good. I hope the, the, the words all will understand for your our use for your living in Malaysia. Yeah. Okay, the next segment will go ahead with uh, Nika and Kirtana part. Alright, so the, the game is like this. I'll play a few videos of Malaysian YouTubers. Uh, they will talk in English in generally, but in the middle they will talk in Malay words. Lah. So uh, what I will do, I will play the video and then before they say the Malay word, I will pause the video. So Marha has to uh, guess the Malay word. Uh, like uh, she have to guess what they are going to say uh, in Malay. So uh, don't worry, I will give the options, two options with English translation. So she have to guess the word lah. So through this she can learn lots of Malay words. So shall we? Maraha? So. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So let me tell you all, five things you should never do at wedding dinner. Number one, the meat. If the invitation says dinner starts at 7 30 pm, you don't leave the house at 8 pm. Just first, don't need to punch. That doesn't mean it. Okay. okay, so Maha, you have two options. 
Option A is sendiri mau ingat. Option 2 is shot sendiri. Maha, what do you think is the answer? Uh, I'm gonna go with option 2. Is shot sendiri come anytime? So let me check. So the answer is correct lah. Okay, it means self-amusing. Or entertaining oneself. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't... So it's like you, you have your own your very own understanding on things. Yeah, got it. That's why when she says, like, you don't let us and then you come, you know, like, yeah, this time, because like you, you just, on your own decision, you go and whatever time you want and whatever, you know? Uh, uh, don't make up your own time, yeah. Yes. Got it. All right. The second video. Not listening to speeches. If you have a CP to attend the wedding reception, then you're agreeing to participate in all the wedding festivities. And that includes the speeches. Don't just turn up, eat, drink, and... Okay, now the option for this, you have two options again, which is Berlari and Brampos. Option A is Berlari, option B is Brampos. Berlari basically means to run, Parampos basically means to be ambushed from that place. I think option one, I guess. Parampos, is it? Berlari. Is it Berlari? Berlari. Okay. Okay. It's actually Parampos. Hmm. Like I said, Brampos means ambush, to be, to be, to, to ambush from that place. Underage marriage. <laughs> so, so, um, in Plantan, in Plantan. Two, uh, the, both, two options, both have the same meaning, which is, it's okay. Basically, it's like, no, it's okay. Both are the same meanings, but it's the two different ways of saying it. So, option one is the upper. Option two is the higher. Lah. Option one. Let's see. Oh, Plantana. Plantana. <laughs> so, yeah, you are correct. <coughs> Do you want to be a snowman? Okay, so <laughs> there are two options. Option A is Diamla, and option two is Janganla. Uh, Diamla basically means shut up. Janganla basically means don't or stop, you know. What's the first one? Diamla. Uh, I think option one, Diamla. Let's see. Hey, do you want to be Diamla? Mauta Mambina or Oh, yeah, you are correct. <laughs> Right. So the two options, uh, option A is Ayo, option two is I say. Uh, both basically means like uh, like you're not satisfied with what you just saw or what just happened. Um, option one is Ayo? Yeah, option one is Ayo, option two is I say. Uh, option one, Ayo. Let's see. I see. There's actually I say. The last video. The last video. That's it. This doesn't really have a dialogue, so you have to guess what he's trying to say. Um, <laughs> there's two options again. One is Sudala, two is Kautim. Both basically means settled or done. First one is what? Sudala. I think option two. Let's see. Yeah, so she was correct. So these are all basically um, Malaysian slang words, if you realize. All of them are very much Malaysian slangs. 
mm-hmm. and uh, only used around this 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 very different scenarios like mm-hmm. uh, like for example kauti men all we use it quite often to be honest i think like colleges so sometimes as students we do use the word like i kauti in the assignment ready or stuff like that and i say i you all i think it's very common we use it like always yeah. it's very much used yeah, a lot of people say i you <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like anything itself, I use like the first word, like that's the first expression as a Malaysian that you actually think of. And then like uh, Diamla and all again, very much Malaysianized words. Yeah, you, you, you very hear, like very, you very mostly hear Diam compared to Sharap from many people in Malaysia. And um, like Shok Sindiri and everything, that's again a very much Malaysianized phrase. Very rare you see that being used anywhere else. because a lot of people have their own opinions <laughs> so toxicity is much very much interpreted with that yeah got it so what have you learned from both these segments that you have seen and been thought of <laughs> um for me i okay. think with all the with the two segments i kind of realized that even though there is the language itself i feel like through the language there is like three or four different types of languages not even just dialects it just seems like there's more languages within that one language because i just see like there's the different versions of the same word which i actually haven't seen in a lot of other languages um but yeah it it just seems like religions just make new languages with that one language you have malaysia boleh yeah yes that happens because we have like three different languages as you know in malaysia you know yeah so like we all just use up everything like to one slang call it the malaysian slang so it happens that yeah you will say satu malaysia hmm? <laughs> yes that's what we call satu malaysia oh my god When I first came to Malaysia, the only thing I still don't understand why people say it, but I have become accustomed to hearing it so much now. But I still do not know why or what it means. I just hear my friends say, "What is it? Malaysia bole, Malaysia tak bole." Like throughout foundation, yeah, every single time somebody sees me. They'll be like, "Hey, Lila, what did I teach you?" It's like Malaysia, I'm like Malaysia, I'm like. I still don't know why. Is this a phrase, lah? I mean, because like I think compared to any other countries, this is one of those countries who have like multi languages and multi, you know, cultures. So like when you have all of them together, like Akila, all together we can, we only we can do. So it's like Malaysia, I'm like compared to any yeah. other country. So any other countries, it's like. like it's rather the same um, culture with a different language not even languages it's just dialects at that point yeah. like if you go to you know uk that's like the different english is mm. by here it's not that here's a literal whole different language so different cultures and everything it's just it's just it's just being proud malaysians you know <laughs> okay so i guess now we will move on to Maha's culture and what yes. she has. Uh, after you taught me about Malaysian all the language, uh, I want to teach you about Maldives and our language. So our language is all called Divehi. So I'm gonna have you play a little game. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Thank. Okay, so I'm gonna start. You're just gonna have to guess it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> This is the easiest I can get. <laughs> I'm just going to assume at this point. Guess just guess. Oh, I'm actually like, correct. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So A the first one the A is actually can be correct but it's not correct. It's more of an informal way. It's just like saying hey. And then the ha looking in is 
how are you? Uh, so, hello is assalamu alaikum because Maldives is a full Muslim country. Okay. Okay, now this is, I am clueless. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? The hell, man! <laughs> really, the most confusing language. <laughs> uh, uh, oh no wow! Way. I'm actually proud of myself. <laughs> you're very really good. Yeah, you're doing really great. <laughs> so, Aharanya Namaki and Alugandu Namaki means the same, but. Uh, Ahareng is the more informal way. Alugando is really like the most formal way. And then Ena and Ingola is their name is. So this is pretty good. I just used the you know, language without even knowing it. Okay, guess great. <laughs> just guess. guess. <laughs> How do you say country? Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really good. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Get means house. Wow. <laughs> Get is just house. Like Get. Uh, Ra is island, so it's not country. Oh, okay. So I was clearly wrong. <laughs> Faranji is uh, like a person from a different country. It's just Westerners, we call it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what does <this> mouth? <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> um, I am no. You know what? Again, I'm guessing la. It's probably not what you expected to be. I I can clearly see. I'm not expected. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Flower. <laughs> if you put an A. That's ma. It means me. <laughs> oh, okay. So an extra A makes a difference, right? Yeah, but one extra A can make such a big difference. So this next question, I think, is related to yeah. What is this flower called? Uh, oh God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> uh, <laughs> random guess. <laughs> Okay. Oh. So the blue one, Puwanduma, is jasmine. Pora Kinkirima is uh, what is it? Temple flower. And then Emburema is daisy. So Finifema is rose. And the reason we call it that is, you know, like rose water. It's like if you like use it on your skin or something, it's like cold for your skin, right? It's pretty cold. Yeah. So we call it Finifema because Fini is cold thing is water and my so in my oh. flower so it's like cold water flower uh, and how can you get rose out of filipina okay wow <laughs> rose rose water is cold equals <laughs> cold water all the <laughs> logic is something i don't mess with actually the rose the pink rose specifically is the country's national flower oh uh, oh okay. About this. <laughs> so there's two correct answers you can choose from. <laughs> I thought it was there, but I did not think okay, great. <laughs> Mood is uh, the ocean, valley is sand, Ru is specifically the palm tree gust is tree <laughs> i didn't want to put gas because i thought gas was actually literally yes, yes, <laughs> like, yes. so i decided to use this as i ah, yes, confusion so this got two know. correct answer there's two correct answer so gust gas and is called tree tree gust it's pronounced gust 
Gus. Like okay. Gus Gus, like from Cinderella. <laughs> This one I think oh, is also for Thomas. This is cool. Um, I know it's not supposed to be expected, but you know what? What's the option? You don't expect. Option, option. <laughs> That's my school picture, by the way. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. You are not wrong. So, I was correct. I'm so glad. So proud. So the official word for school is matarusa, but school is the way we pronounce it and everything. We just say school to make it easier. Is school or not? School is just how old people pronounce it. So, but it's not exactly correct, but it's not wrong either. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool. This is a full sentence. <laughs> what class? Oh, Lord. Um, this is so, a oh, um, uh, corn. Co- I'm, I don't know if I want to put, oh, Lord. Uh, is there two answers or is there only one answer for this? Uh, this <laughs> word. Yeah. yeah. I knew it. Yeah, I knew. If you pronounce it konkohe, you don't pronounce it. Konkohe is like what course? It's a key count. What course? Kocha daskurani is what are you studying? Like, like right now, what are you studying? What is the green color? Green color is konkohe jaga kiyavani. What is that? It means where do you? What university do you study at? In Maldives, college and university is the same thing. Yeah, same. And then Konko said the Kevin is what are you saying? You're doing surprisingly well. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> oh god, another mask. Um mask. <laughs> what does mask mean? Um Ocean? No. Fish? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you would be surprised if you like. <laughs> Oh my fish <laughs> all put in us <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god ocean is mood food is khana enough is um, enough is like then hail there's no word it's just a phrase fish is must <laughs> you see you should never you should never what well, I'm get the most the most obvious This is, yeah, this is don't scary. Don't yeah. <laughs> so the last question. This should be easy. This last question should be pretty easy. <laughs> How do you say thank you? Uh, not easy, ah. child. <laughs> yes, wow, you got it correct. All of you, yeah. <laughs> so, a ang a ang is just. Yeah, the saying yeah. There's no like specific. It's like la. It's like the Maldivian la. Huata is like mm-hmm. saying like uh how do I explain this? It's like when you're shocked about something so you're like really like that. Madiaye is like the more gangster way of saying goodbye. It's like a hey, I'm leaving. And shukriya is thank you. So you didn't do bad for what I thought. Uh, uh Wow. <laughs> wow. That was pretty good. <laughs> That was good. Soon we'll learn enough. Good enough. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good for our first like never hearing the language. So pretty good try. That's good. How do you pronounce your language again? The the Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's like a mixture of It's a mixture of a lot of different languages, but if you speak Arabic, 
it will be easy to write if you speak urdu it's easier to read mm. is there something like hindi because the shukriya yes. uh, mm. all hindi words right a bit la yeah most of them it's very like there's a lot of hindi in our language it's like uh numbers especially like our numbers are like ekad tinne hatare fahin haing hatare it's like that so it's pretty similar in a lot of aspects we just take our language from other people <laughs> he is openly admitted to stealing languages <laughs> we just steal everything okay we don't have anything fun fact this is the one thing so the uh, me and flower is just one a difference yeah ma and ma yeah ma is me ma is flower and just put like as ever la go into fish la huh if put s m a s means fish la yes you just you just change certain letters and like you create a whole new thing like that yeah la something like tamil la like you know how yes. our alphabets are like one a is one alphabet you add another two you have two a's you add another thing something yeah like There's one letter in our alphabet that you can't make a word out of. It's just there. So you know how in like oh, wow. alphabet songs it's like A for apple B for ball in our mm-hmm. one it's like it's like ha shaviyani no shaviyani you can't make a word out of that. So when they say like A for apple they say shaviyani shaviyani hata which means with shaviyani you just make another shaviyani. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very. That is something different. Yeah. So that is something unique from your from your language, lah. Not stealing part that you can. That's the that's the. Uh, <laughs> they're like, how can we make this unique? Yes, let's make this one letter useless. <laughs> All right. That was fun. That's good. Have you learned something about Maldives? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was fun. Yes. So, one of future plan to be how one how one alphabet can make a lot of yeah. <laughs>